all it takes is like, uh, what do you care about in this life? What do you really want? What is, what is important for you? You know, one time I, I already practiced, but it was, as we know, it, it, it goes into like, you have the peaks and you, you feel inspired and you feel very enthusiastic and you have motivation and then again it goes down and you, you don't see a reason, you don't have a strong drive to, to do it. And it goes like this, right? So one time I was at this kind of down moment, uh, cycle, and, and then I remember we went to, with my friend, I, I, I already lived at the Zen Center, and I had uh, two children, they were still small at that time, and we decided uh, there was some break in school, so we wanted to go somewhere outside the city and, and have a nice, you know, nice time in the nature. And, and we took our children, and yeah, so that was a, a nice trip. It looked like a nice trip. Uh, but then it, it was winter; uh, the road was uh, was icy, and uh, so. The children sat at the back in the car, and uh, the driver and I sat next to the driver. And it was a sunny day, but at some point, uh, it was the trees or mountain covered the road, so we the road wasn't it was still very uh, icy. But the driver couldn't see it, and so he was driving fast, and then the car started spinning and then you know at this it, it, everything went very fast in such a moment everything was very fast and the mind goes as very fast as well so then you know i could see my mind uh, in this moment we were like you know hitting the side of the street <coughs> but in that moment what Later, it really surprised me because in that moment I wasn't thinking about my children. I wasn't thinking about life or death. I was just, I had just one thought. I cannot die now. I, I didn't, I don't know what is this life all about. I cannot die yet. I have to figure it out. <laughs> I have to find out what, what is this life. And uh, yeah, so <coughs> that was kind of really hit me. Uh, after you know the accident happened, etc., uh, and it really hit me. You know, this this one thing was so strong in my mind. So I think I was kind of turning point, and, and uh, since then I had this this strong motivation because I know it's there is something uh, you know which is really bigger than, and we are bigger than, than, you know, this uh, little uh, boxy driver who is all the time talking, yeah, practice is not necessary, don't, <laughs> don't do it, you, can, you have to sleep, you have to rest, where you have to study, you have to get a degree, you have to find a you know, good wife and good life and uh, talking, 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 talking. So we are much bigger. There is something bigger than, than just this, you know, person who is struggling and who is trying to have a good life and, and all of that. So there is something more to, to, to this life. And, and intuitively, I always felt this, but somehow you, you're losing it, just living this life and, and struggling. Yeah, yeah facing all kinds of situations and raising family and and this and that so many things so on the way we're just kind of losing the bigger picture you know but uh, yeah eventually with the, with the uh, you know patience of repetition and and training and returning back the mind is you know Bigger picture is also what Sung San Sonium would call like mind gets uh, bigger, 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 wider, wider, wider. 
and the, the perspective gets wider. It's a little bit like uh, watching a movie. So when we begin our practice, it's like watching a movie like, like this, very close. So you cannot really see much. So when you practice, it's like going back and, and having this bigger picture, and you see the whole screen. And eventually, you become the director of the movie. And you choose the actress, and you make the, you know, uh, the script, and all of it. So it's, it's like that. 